Welcome to Financial Adrenaline. This is an information series exploring the concepts of strategic finance to help you integrate these powerful and critical tools into your everyday business decision making. My name is Larry Kirkenbauer, president of Excalibur Advisors, and I'll be your host. Today in Financial Adrenaline, we'll be talking about our proprietary and powerful business ferret program, which we believe represents the reinvention of the financial statement. If you haven't watched our earlier videos in the Financial Adrenaline series, I think you'll find it helpful to watch them to see why we believe in the power of strategic finance, what we believe about the state of financial reporting, and how you can integrate strategic finance into your everyday business decision making. So let's take a minute to give you a preview of the powerful business ferret tool set and show you how the business ferret program overcomes the limitations of traditional financial statements and finally opens the door to understanding business performance and to increasing the free cash flow that is the lifeblood of business. With my partner Dan Cunningham, a deeply experienced financial professional who lives in Seattle, we are proud to say that we have reinvented the financial statement. No, we're not CPAs, we're not even accountants really, but we do have 75 years of combined corporate finance experience and have worked with hundreds of companies as operating executives, as both commercial and investment bankers, as well as venture capital investors and financial advisors. The Business Ferret Program starts by taking the raw information presented in your historical financial statements, including all of the information in your P&L, balance sheet, and cash flow statement, and maybe supplement it with footnote information when it's available. Also, as appropriate, we can incorporate other offline data like employee headcount, outstanding shares of company stock, or unit sales data to create even more powerful productivity insights. Then, using the proprietary database embedded in our Business Ferret program, we reorganize this data to create a powerful performance scorecard which measures more than a thousand variables over five years, organized into four themes and 15 categories that establish year-to-year -year benchmarks critical to superior business performance. We use this scorecard to identify the strengths and weaknesses of business performance and help you prioritize how to attack these issues even with limited resources. To do this, we use more than 75 proprietary graphic and interactive tools to illustrate these findings and help you truly understand your business performance and what action steps you can take in what order and with what priority to improve overall business performance. You'll learn a lot more about the scorecard in the following episode in the Financial Adrenaline series entitled, very cleverly, The Scorecard Video, where you see how this powerful tool is used to provide critical benchmarking data and drive improved business performance. So let me take a minute to show you the framework of the business ferret and its key components. As we've seen, the business scorecard is the centerpiece of the business ferret program. From there, we intensely focus on operating performance measures that cover all of the critical measures of operating success, most of which occur on the income statement, and I'm sure you're already familiar with some of it, like nominal revenue growth, but some of it you may be less familiar with, like price-adjusted growth, or sustainable growth, or the gross profit markup index. We analyze in detail gross profit performance, operating expense controls, and the resulting net operating income gains and losses, and we dig deep to look at annual rates of change on all of these metrics. We then examine the financial resources available to your business in both the debt and equity categories. How have you complied with the most critical covenants compliance indicators used by the banking community? How do your external financing needs compare to your available working capital resources? What kind of bank credit do you qualify for, and are you likely to qualify for a loan based on cash flow? or will you need an asset-based lending facility to provide your needed working capital? The creation of value is another major component that measures something that very few business executives ever consider. Are we creating or destroying value each year? Do you have a realistic idea of how your company might be valued using earnings performance or EBITDA measures or free cash flow performance? Do they vary widely or are they pretty consistent? And why do I care? Throughout all these modules, we're always intensely focusing on how to increase free cash flow because we know that's the lifeblood of a successful business and is the foundation of realizable market value. Finally, there are a lot of very powerful scenario planning tools allowing us to evaluate in our first phone conversation with you how changes in the top 5 to 10 key areas of your business will impact free cash flow. Not just what impact may occur on the P&L, but we dig much deeper to see the impact on free cash flow and what that means for the forthcoming year. So that's a brief look at the Business Ferret framework and the structure we've followed. 
From here, you may want to watch other videos in our Financial Adrenaline series. In particular, you might want to look at our value proposition webcast to make sure there is no confusion about what we're trying to accomplish and how. And then turn to the Business Ferret section of the Financial Adrenaline series to learn more about the specifics of that program and tool set. And then watch the Follow the Money video in our Financial Adrenaline series, which will help you understand cash flow, maybe for the first time ever. There's much more to come in our Financial Adrenaline series, so I hope you'll stay with us or return as often as you like to take advantage of these insights to help you understand the principles of strategic finance and integrate them in your everyday business decision making. Thanks very much for listening to our Financial Adrenaline series featuring our powerful Business Ferret performance tool. Please note that the transcript of this webcast is also available as a free PDF file in the Learning Center at Excalibur.com under the Financial Adrenaline tab. You'll also find the links for our YouTube and iTunes channels for this series prominently displayed on the Excalibur website. Don't forget to sign up for our newsletter as well and subscribe to our blog feed to make sure you don't miss upcoming podcasts and webcasts in this continuing Financial Adrenaline series. We also encourage you to contact us directly. You'll find the contact information for our offices in the contact section at Excalibur.com. We do offer workshops, seminars, and keynote speeches, as well as consulting services to middle market companies. We also encourage you to share your candid feedback or suggestions about future topics, so let us know how we're doing and what more we can do to help you. We're very fortunate that modern technology and social media allow all of us to share knowledge and help each other become more accomplished business executives. If we are deserving of your endorsement, our thanks for telling others about this series. So stay tuned. There's a lot more to come. In the meantime, think big, take action, and make sure you're integrating strategic finance into your everyday business decision making.